So we discussed a lot of the essentials. I want to take a quick pause here and discuss something that uh, is more vanilla but has a lot of practicality in hard ops itself. So we'll incorporate how it works in the next video, but for now I want to discuss four different things we use uh, from time to time. One are sharps, two are bevel weights, three are seams, and four are creases. So first thing I'm going to discuss here is, um, is seams. Seams are just uh, nice and easy. You may be familiar with seams because you use them a lot in unwrapping, right? And uh, we actually use seams for something quite different in hard surface, although you can also use them for unwrapping. So what I'm going to do here is run a smart apply, get all these booleans applied on this cube. Okay, so let's say I go around to, I don't know, let's just go around and I'll select all the edges on the border. Just do it manually for visual representation. And if we press Control E and then apply a seam, you, you see we have these red edges around it. Most of you that have used seams before are, are uh, familiar with that. And what we're going to do here is do something similar. I'm going to turn off the bevel real quick. Click on that button so I can see it. We're going to go in here and apply some seams in this area as well. Control E and then mark seam. And then we'll do this to like one more area, maybe in here. We'll just select them and then control E, mark seam. Okay, so check this out. This only works in face mode, so make sure you tab into face mode here. So let's say you wanted to um, only select areas where the seams were surrounding. That's precisely why we use seams in the first place. So in face mode, if I press L around areas encapsulated by seams, you're going to see these are automatically separated based off of the seams. You can also do the same thing on this one, or on this one, just press the L key. Right, and this selects all the areas that are surrounded by seams. Press L here, and we have that area selected. Sometimes you want to do this for the purposes of UV unwrapping, uh, but in this course, we're going to be using it just for the purposes of separating areas. We don't use it too much, but it is useful if you want to have different link geometry. And, um, you know, you just want to go over here, press the L key, and you have different separations just by adding seams. So seams are probably the one we use the least in hard surface. It's just um, depending on the circumstance, you may or may not need them. In most of the course, we won't really be using seams, but I just want to mention that this is a trick for making areas uh, separated in edit mode.